We're going to get it over back over to the men's side as we'll see both Qatar and the Philippines and pull C back at it. Just moments away from taking the court. Qatar, we saw them uh, outlast Dominican Republic earlier. This will be our first look at the Filipinos. But get you back familiar with Team Qatar. Irfan, Ali, Saeed, Indu, Seidoy, Big Boy. Nadim Muslik. And Abdul Rahman Sa'ad, the number one ranked Qatari player. Again, co coached by the great Dushan Bullet. <laughs> Good to see him uh, in attendance. We're going to see what, it, what his. It's kind of odd saying what his squad is going to do uh, with their second opportunity. Here come the Filipinas. Million strong watching back home. What's up? All my Filipinas. A, uh, a very interesting team when you look at this, uh, this Filipino team. CJ Perez back at it. They got Joshua Munzon. That iconic million peso shot. Yeah, he capped that uh, that Zembo uh, Boanga City win over Nueva Isija in the grand final. The Chooks to go. Filipinas uh, President's Cup. Muzon is a, is a gifted score, number one pick in the PBA. I'm going to start calling him Moneybag Joe. That's his new nickname. See if he lives up to it. He had a hell of a 2019. Looked good on uh, his appearances on the world tour. But again, he's had some time off. Never know. You never know. Uh, the fan vote. Who's going to win? I don't know if uh, the Qatari people's computers are working or not. But right now, Philippines getting uh, getting the, the lion's share of the votes. Uh, over 90% saying that the Philippines are going to win. I just think that's probably due to the Filipinos being so uh, active. <laughs> on social media, shout out. They make their presence felt. Boys, if you're ready for your red tune, this is Quadrilla. All right. So it's on now. Ten minutes and counting. Muslik. He lets the two fly. Follows the miss. Can't put it in. Still. Say do. Gobbles up the rebound. Puts it up and in. Here's C.J. Perez. Oh, it ain't that windy. Saad turns the corner. He'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. 2-0. Quick lead for Qatar. Nadine, make that 3-0. 30 seconds in. They had a point per 10 second pace. Perez. Oh, pass stolen. Say do. Try to set up Muslic. Muslic thought better of it, decides to try it from the deep end. He missed it. Say do. Muscles one up, but uh, he misses it. Now they get the ball in Joshua Moonzone's hands. His pass stolen. Saad. Muslic. They, they're going to give him that two look. And he's too good to give him that. Bang, bang. Five nothing. Qatar. Perez, he gets a good look. A little too strong on it. Saad, oh, yeah. Perez couldn't slow down the momentum. 
So he picks up the foul. Santillan will check in for the Filipinas. Oh, nice back dough. I like your cut, G. Saad, easy money. Oh, Santillan had to move. Saad to pass it. I don't know why. Eventually, somebody might come out of here. They were scrapping for the ball the whole shot clock. That was a 12 second scrum. <laughs> Felt like it. Here's Muslitz elevates. Soft touch. Uh, Philippines need to show up. There we go. Right on cue. Santi line up through the contact. He's going to get them their first score. And they show a pulse. We know they got Puzo. They got an early six point ditch to dig themselves out of. Santi line. Too much sauce on the free throw attempt, so he couldn't make it an and one. Saad being harassed by Perez. It takes a bump. You have to be careful. You know, that's when we reach the 16-foul area. This is not really a good oh, situation. Oh, Irfan. Oh. He, he had a good opportunity for the setup there. But a bad pass. Turns it over. Money bag Joe. Gives the rock over to Perez. It's tipped out of bounds. Nine seconds left on the shot clock in this one. There's Wazon. He was in his bag all 2020. Misses the layup. Played well in Doha despite getting, getting eliminated day one. And there's Muslich showing the strength. Santilan diving to the bucket. Oh, he's an international banker. Munzo gives the Philippines their third point. Their second and third points, I should say. Long range. Five point difference, though. Perez. Too much contact. Say, do caught reaching in. So the Philippines will make a substitution. And in comes Mo Tautua, rocket number 33, Saad. They're going to leave him by himself. He's knocking down shots like happy hour. That's a double shot. Uh, and it's answered by a deuce from Moonzone. 10-5 game, Muzon through the contact. He's gonna be shooting too. So each team hitting a mark from long range. Couple of double dips apiece, but Qatar out to the early lead, 10 to five. It took a little bit of little bit of time for the Philippines to really get their heads in the game in the way that they needed to. Hey, we gotta get stops. Hey, switch that back screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you switch that back screen, just switch it. So you hear you hear Josh Moon's zone as we gotta gotta listen in to that huddle. He's saying we gotta switch on back screens. It's gonna start with defense. This is one this is coming from one of the most dynamic offensive players. Uh, coming out of the Philippines, he understands that we got to hang our hat on the defensive end and kind of let the offensive flow. Oh, Shaq and the fool. Sha Shaq and the fool. He has some extra hair grease on his hand from, from his man bun. Uh, that's why he missed it. So an empty trip to the stripe, despite drawing the foul behind that two-point arc. And now he gets lost defensively, and Muslich makes him pay. 11-5, Qatar with that six-point advantage. Moves on from the Enlio logo. He's going to go to work. He's got Muslich on him. Muslich, though, he took his candy. Muslich. 
So back on offense uh, goes Qatar. Nice action here down to say do. And uh, yeah, that's baby food. Oh, Perez took a, take, took Seydu out deep. Couldn't cash it in. Side, he wants a screen. That's going to be off Qatar. Blue ball. Under six minutes to play in this one. A seven-point difference. It has been all Qatar. Moves on. Little hezzy. He was, he was hoping somebody cut to the bucket. Nobody was home. Turnover. Now he's got to try to stay in front of Saad. He gets a gift handed to him. Now moves on to Perez. Perez starts right, goes left. The runner. Uh-uh. And then Irfan said the kitchen is closed. You ain't finna eat down here. Look again. He protects the rim like a cell phone password. <laughs> Perez. Oh. Got hung up on the rim. Santi line. Out to Moon Zone. No. Irfan will give it up to Saad. He sets the screen. Moon Zone. Too pesky with his hands. That's a fourth foul, I believe, on the Filipinas. Third foul. Nearly at the midway point, 522. Kyle Montgomery in your ear. We are rolling right through day one of the action here at our first ever Olympic qualifying tournament. Okay, okay. Out, third down. Both of these it's teams looking to uh, qualify for the Olympic Games for the first time ever in a basketball competition. Qatar's got the pedigree. Philippines had a fan base and the support and the sauce. They don't have the lead, which is the most important thing to have. And the final horn sounds. We're about five minutes away from that. Santi line. He lets it go. Still going. Perez, rebound. Easy lay. Oh, Saad. A bit quick on the pass. Got a fortunate bounce to Muslic. He still couldn't make it count. So now Perez will set up shot from the Inleo logo. Saad trailing. Still with him. Perez stepped on the line. Turnover blue. Back over to Qatar. Arfan cross court. Saad, no hesitation. Green release. I know y'all play 2K. That was not a green release. That was that 2K21 release. Tua. Irvine. You better get up quick. Got some defense to play. 421 to go with this one. It's a comfy lead for Qatar. Thanks to shots like that. Abdul Rahman Saad. And then the strength on the interior. Big reason why they're leading this game the way they're doing. There's Munzon. Not happening. He's been in a drought. Perez picking up the slack. As he gets two for a dollar from deep. Saad, Irfan, no sir. Perez back with the cookie in hand. He's got the Wilson in his palm. Step back. Still a miss. Muslic fired up a brick himself. Quick feed, nice pass. Tautua able to make it count. A five-point difference, three and a half to play. Qatar in control here. Smart play is what's going to be the difference for them. No need to force up shots. They want to D up, and they definitely want to keep Munzon under wraps. He has been parched.
Yeah, that's all Saad. So we got a TV timeout in a 14-9 contest. Qatar in the driver's seat from the get-go, right out of the gates as they've managed to uh, keep the Filipino stars under wraps. Come on. Hey, two seconds. Box out. Box out. Box. Former number one PBA pick, Joshua moves on, getting a rest, but still leading his team vocally, giving him instruction. Oh, my goodness, in his face, like a filter. You have to wash that off. Say, dude, good D. Musich to Saad, giving plenty of space. They got to respect that, too. Too long on it. Santilan will swing it. Perez. Tautua. Ooh. Good D. Moussas, I think, got a fingernail on that. Moussas. Up fake. Jab step. Quick. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, he had him sliding like he hit a puddle of grease. Tautua didn't know where he was at. Oh. Moussas is down, only temporarily. Look again. <laughs> Kassad putting the brakes on Perez. And he just lambasted him. Here's Saad yet again. That time will miss wide left. It's 17 to 9. The Philippines has been missing like a ghost town. Perez must have heard me because he gets bottoms from deep. <laughs> nice splash from him to make this thing a little bit more uh, respectable. Just over two minutes to play. It ain't done yet. It ain't done yet. But if Qatar stays the course, this is, this is very likely going to be a win. And there's another one. All net, all wet. Saad. Oh, yeah. Somebody been in the, in the weight room. Moonzone finishing through the contact. Another look at Saad. Got the nets dripping from the corner. 19 to 12, and that is your ball game. Nadine Muslitz doing the honors. Killing him with the two shot. 21-12, Qatar. Stepping up and getting it done. Qatar 2-0 here day one. 21-12. to 12. They've held, held both of their opponents here day one uh, to just 12 points. So they're getting it done defensively. That's where they hang their hat. And the offense is coming. Saad doing a lot of the damage there. Big reason why he gets the uh, the post-game interview with the one and only Julian DeBub. Ju, it's on you. Abdul Rahman, it's now second game, two wins. How do you feel about the, the start of the tournament? It's a great feeling, but we don't want to uh, like, be over happy with it. We still got two more games to, to finish the group. We aim high, we want to achieve our goal. I mean, we're happy with the win, but we're looking forward for better. You told me in the interview we did earlier today how much it matter to do all this preparation and spend so much time with Dusan Bulut in Serbia and all over the world. Can you tell us, you know, w what your, the last few months have been for you? Yeah, this guy's been uh, great for us. I mean, Dusan, he helped us a lot for the past two months. We played a lot of games. We prepared a lot for this. And uh, thanks to all the guys and hope we do better. Congratulations, you should be proud. Thank you very much. Yeah, so far so good for Team Qatar in uh, men's pool C. They are getting it done, 2-0. and oh. And Abdul Rahman Saad, he's as good as advertised. Quick first step. He's found some consistency from beyond that two-point arc. We saw Nadim Musa's really pick it up. His second game was a lot better than his first game. Uh, had a dominant showing. 
using that size and that length uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, that time he got dropped off. Josh Munzon, but Munzon was, was pretty quiet throughout the game. Uh, the Filipinas depend a lot on his offensive output, and they really put the clamps on him. You can see from the scores that uh, that distance continued to grow as the game uh, progressed. It was 10-5 at that point, 11-5 after that, and Dean Moose's lay-in. And then we saw Josh Munzon trying to respond and get locked up. Speaking of that defense from Muslich, that D turning the offense, say do enjoy doing work on the inside like normal. And back to Saad, quite comfy in the defense. Perez uh, got a couple of twos. So he, uh, returned to, uh, to the 3x3 courts. But uh, Filipinos just really looked out of sync. I'm not sure they were ready for the type of pressure that Qatar was going to put on them. And uh, we see Qatar get a